What are you doing, Rob? Loading the Mac. Hey everyone, welcome back to Bald Guys with Guns. I'm Rob. And I'm Jeremy. And if you've seen any of our previous videos, you might recognize this gun, except for wait, it's, no you don't. It's, it's all new. This is a new gun. Uh, this is the Ruger American Gen 2 in 223. If you've seen our old videos, I have this in 308. Um, but in our long range fail video, linked in, link up here, uh, the MDT stock here was on that 308 and I decided I didn't want it there wanted it on this gun yeah because i thought it would be better for like coyote hunting and stuff yeah with the added weight not really having the intention of taking this one hunting and being a gun that we want to push the limits on with a 223 round going with some match grade ammo we want to see how far we can push this gun and be accurate out to those further distances so we can you know take some pretty fun shots with it i've had really good results with my 308 and so i know that the ruger american gen 2 is kind of built towards hunting yeah but they're super accurate <laughs> i'm blown away the accuracy. um and so i'm kind of wanting to make this a long range gun that you can hunt coyotes with right so today we're going to shoot some groupings for you uh we have a few different rounds that we're going to try out how many was it rob uh we have five different types of ammo that we're going to try to figure out what goes best out of this gun um just so you know this the mdt field stock we have an Arkin EPL4 that's four to 16 by 44. And there's a Silence Co. ASR muzzle brake on here that we will be throwing an Omega 300 on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeremy's hands tripod here. So the shakiness, I do apologize. Rob, what are you doing for us? All right, um, so just so y'all know, the trigger that comes with this gun, it's supposed to be uh, adjustable from three to five pounds. I have already off camera adjusted this as low as I could get it and tested it and I was getting about three and a half pounds average. Um, so I might've gotten not as good of a trigger as I should have, but we'll do some on camera here uh, just to double check that. Three point seven. Three pounds eleven. Three point nine with oh, an average of three point nine or three pounds nine point four ounces, which is about three and a half pounds when you consider it goes up to sixteen ounces per pound, right? So there you have it. Exactly what I said. Full setup, scope, field stock from MDT, and this AccuTac bipod that actually is kind of heavy. 12 pounds, 15.8 ounces for this 223 setup. All right, we're gonna start with the Hornady Black 75 grain Botel hollow point ammunition. We have five different ammo types to go through. Jeremy and I are each gonna shoot one group of five. Um, and we're gonna use a chronograph as well and you'll see those results later. Here we go.
My turn. My turn. How'd it do? Hmm? Jeremy's up. I love the fill of this chassis, bro. All right, Jeremy's up. Five shots, um, right target, top left, please. Okay. Oh, that trigger is nice. I mean, that for a uh, three and a half pound. For three and a half pound, that that feels really good, dude. Know what that grin's for, right? Doing good? Yeah. That should be five, right? Yeah. I tried, you almost can't see the red. Really? Yeah. I think all five of them are touching. That's really good. Yeah. That's really good. That is What's your... phenomenal. Uh, 38 with a max of 27.43. Okay, 38 spread is pretty good actually. You're not bad. All right, we're gonna let the barrel cool down Dude, and it. then move on to our next uh, set of ammo. That's when it's picked up. Yeah, this is gonna be dangerous. In fact, hey, hey, I need your help. <laughs> ah! It's a new day. We're moving on to the next set of ammo, which is gonna be the Hornady Match. Uh, boat tail hollow points, 75 grain for this gun. If the wind doesn't blow it over, uh, let's get shooting, get a group out of this this stuff. Sure you can, but you see impact, right? Yep. Dude, the wind is gonna make this hard. Yeah, it is. We got an average of 27.24 with a spread of 63. Wow. Yeah, that sucks. Other than my one flyer, that group didn't turn out too bad. No, it really didn't. I, I could almost guarantee you that flyer was due to the wind. Definitely not as tight as the Hornady Black. With that bottom one? Yeah. I tried to put it in the red. You actually tried to? See That's how, not the point of this. You're supposed to be grouping it. Seeing how my group of four was, and they're almost all touching, I'm like, let me just go a little low left, and it went right there. Uh, 66 spread for me. We'll let the barrel cool and move on to the next. 
All right, moving on to the next group of ammo, we have the Federal Premium Gold Medal Burger. Uh, open tip, it is a 73 grain bullet. Let's see how these do. I'm just going dead center. the freaking wind picks up on me. Yeah. Not too bad, actually. No. I mean, three in the same hole, basically. Yeah. Well, and the wind picked up on my on yeah. the flyer. Yeah. Uh, it was... So, uh, 2769 with a 40 spread on that one. So, better than the Hornady match, but yeah. I think so far the Black has the best spread, but that one grouped good. Yeah. We'll see how it does for you. All right, let's set her punch it. I think they're naturally going slightly right, so. Put them all right there in the same spot. Ooh, that's looking good. I think I grouped it better, but they're both pretty tight for for what it is. For what it is, what's I your forty-four spread? Forty-four. Okay, so that's pretty consistent at least. Yep. Cool. Ten shots with the forty-four spread. Let's let the barrel cool and uh, go to the next one. We are moving on to the Federal Premium Gold Medal Match Sierra Match King sixty-nine grain bullet. I've heard a lot of good things on the Sierra Match Kings for 223, but I believe it's the 77 grain, which we do have as well. But we're starting with the 69. Let's see what this does. Bottom left. Yep. Doesn't look too terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, we got, whoa, okay. That probably explains the up and down. 105 spread. That's the worst we've seen. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. bad. That is pretty bad. I agree. All right, bottom left. You ready, sir? Yep. Sorry, my contact is going blurry there. <laughs> You're good. I thought you were just trying really hard. No, I was trying to clear my eye. <laughs> good.
Dude, what the heck? You don't have another one? Is that five? That was five. Oh. Dude, that group <laughs> is insane. Yeah, it is. Um, what's your what's your spread? 95. 95 still in you group like that? Yeah. Dude, that's that's a <laughs> that was <laughs> awesome. So Rob just ran down, reset the camera for us. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the first group on this one. We have our federal premium gold medal Sierra Match King in 77 grain. With Rob's research, uh, this is supposed to be one of the better rounds. Let's give it a try. Bottom right. Gotcha. Dude, that gusted right as you shot. Yeah. Still a good shot though. Kept going further and further right. That last one I th was the wind, I the, know. The wind pushed you? That one, yep, just a hair. All right, well, let's see if I can do any better. 20 FPS difference, a lot slower. Yeah, but that's still going faster than my 308, but um, the extreme spread only being 20, that's really kind of a good. huge, kind of a huge thing. Yeah. All right. I think I've caught my breath. Let's, let's do this. Forty-six spread on that one. So you have one bad flyer. Probably. I uh, I liked the way that grouped and the extreme spread of those more than any of the others because even though the horny black probably grouped one of the best. I, I mean, you did really well with the sixty-nine, but that the hundred. FPS spread, that's gonna suck when you're shooting long range. Yep. Um, the Hornady Black had an extreme spread. It ranged between 40s and 60. And this one was 20 and then 40. Right. I think just based on that alone and the fact that it, it grouped pretty well, I think that's the 77 is the, the one to go with. The one to go with. If you're going factory, just for consistency. Right. All right, well, we've uh, finished our testing, and man, what a great gun this is. For once, I shot better. You shot really well. Yeah. The wind pushed both of us around. It did. On some of those. Um, we have chosen a winner, and we... Yeah, you guys might be surprised, but with what the intentions are of this rifle... We've chosen the Federal Sierra Match Kings, but the 77 grain. Um, and that is mostly, as you may have heard early, us say earlier, is because of the extreme spread between all the shots. Between the 10 shots that we took, the highest it got was 43. Yeah. And with all the others, they were high 40s, 60s, um, and some of them didn't group as good. Um, the Hornady Blacks were the, like, exception. They grouped phenomenal. Right. We had an under an inch group but yeah about a half inch but it was like a 65 spread yeah um in fps and the further out you go the more that matters right 
Uh, so we've chosen the 77 grain. We also believe that because of the wind, we could have grouped that better. We both felt like we were getting pushed around as we were shooting. Yep. Um, we did not choose the best day to come out here, but we don't really have a lot of time. So, uh, so yeah, Ruger's doing great things. These guns are awesome. We think we're pretty sure this is a sub MOA gun. Yep. And so is my 308. Um, so if you guys are interested, 77 grain Sierra Magic Kings from Federal, that's yep. That's our choice. And good job, Ruger. Very impressed with these affordable, accurate rifles. I mean, this is... Ruger, this awesome. is our second gun that we've bought and reviewed for you without <laughs> payment. So let's, like, we're here. We have two more to show next. We're, we're here. We have more Rugers. <laughs> um, oh, don't forget the most, uh, the the 1022s we yeah, do, too. That's right. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. We appreciate you guys being here, and hopefully this helped any of you interested in this gun. Yep. And remember, the most beautiful scalps are bald. We'll see you next time. The wind Man, threw the that The wind one. threw that. That was so. going right for it. <laughs>